Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're tackling one of the biggest frustrations in our graders, crossplay not working between PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. You might be getting stuck in queues, unable to join your friends, or seeing crossplay not available errors. Don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have crossplay running perfectly step by step. So stay with me till the end, because one of the last fixes is what solves it for most players. One, restart Xbox services. Press Win plus R, type services.msc, and hit enter. Scroll down to Xbox Live Auth Manager, Xbox Live Networking Service, and Gaming Services. Right-click each one, choose Restart. 2. Sign out and back in. Open the Xbox app and Microsoft Store, sign out, then sign back in using the same account. 3. Check time and date. Go to Settings, Time and Language, Date and Time, and enable Set Time automatically. This prevents Xbox authentication mismatches. 4. Clear Xbox credentials. Press Win plus R, type control keymgrid.dll, and hit enter. Remove any stored credentials for xboxlive.com or Microsoft. Restart your PC and log in fresh. 5. Repair and reset the game. Right-click the game in the Xbox app. Select Manage Files, Verify and Repair. Fix 6. Reinstall gaming services via PowerShell. Open PowerShell as administrator and run this command. Get Axe Package Microsoft.Gaming Services Remove Axe Package, Elusers. Start MS Windows Store, forward slash forward slash PDP slash, Producted equals 9MWPM2CQNLHN. This reinstalls Xbox Gaming Services from the Microsoft Store. Fix 7, Flush DNS and Reset Network. Open Command Prompt as Admin and Run. IP Protocol Configuration slash Flushdance. Netch Winsock Reset. Restart your PC after this. 4. Network and NT Type Check. Test your connection. Windows. Press Windows plus R, type CMD, hit Enter, then run. Ping Google.com. Aim for low ping and no packet loss. Check NT Type. Select Settings, Network and Internet. Advanced Network Settings. Network Reset. Reset now. If NT is moderate or strict, enable UPnP or port forwarding. Black Ops 7 needs specific ports open to maintain connection with servers. If your NT type is strict or moderate, that's your problem. Fix it. Log into your router using the IP address shown in your network status, usually 192.168.1.1. Enable UPnP, Universal Plug, and Play if available. If not, manually forward these ports. TCP, 3074, 27014 to 27050. UDP, 3074, 3478 to 3480, 4379 to 4380, 27000 to 27031, 27036. Save settings and reboot your router. Then relaunch the game and check your NT type. It should now show as open or type 1, which eliminates most connection lost errors. Full guide. Support.xbox.com. 5. Verify game files. Steam. Right click the game. Library Properties Installed Files Verify Integrity Microsoft Store slash Xbox App Right-click the Game Manage Files Verify and Repair This will replace any corrupted authentication-related files 6. Disable VPNs, proxies, and overlays A servers sometimes block VPN IP ranges In Windows Settings Network and Internet Proxy, make sure it's off Also disable overlays from Discord, NVIDIA, or Xbox Game Bar while troubleshooting 7. Change your DNS for faster connections. Open Network Connections, right-click your active network properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, Properties. Use these Google DNS servers. Preferred, 8.8.8.8. Alternate, 8.8.4.4. Restart your PC after saving. 8. Check Crossplay Settings. First, let's start simple but crucial, your in-game crossplay settings. Open Arc Raiders and go to Settings Gameplay Online Options. Make sure crossplay is enabled. Some players found it auto-disabled after the latest patch. Save and restart your game completely. If you're on console, also go to your system settings and confirm cross-platform play is turned on there as well. Xbox and PlayStation handle this separately. Verify Account Linking Arc Raiders uses a Nexon account system to manage crossplay connections. If your Nexon account isn't properly linked to your platform, crossplay fails silently. Here's how to check. 
visit https colon slash slash www.nxon.com slash account. Log in and check under linked accounts. Ensure your Steam, Epic Games, Xbox, or PSN account is linked correctly. If any are duplicated or outdated, unlink and relink them. Then restart the game. This refreshes the crossplay authorization token. Ultimate fix if nothing works. If you've tried everything and the error still pops up, here's the ultimate solution. Create a new local Windows user account and link your Xbox slash Microsoft Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox accounts because it clears hidden corrupt account tokens. And that's it, your Arc Raiders crossplay should now be working across PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. If it worked for you, drop a comment below with your setup. It really helps others facing the same problem. And if it didn't, mention your error code, and I'll cover it in an upcoming video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more real PC fix guides that actually work, not just generic clickbait tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.